played a couple of times. As I uh, mentioned earlier, though, both of those games came before Cleveland, uh, you know, redid its roster. Um, it was a re that was the reason they redid them, actually. One of them. They were playing oh, against they were, them. They and they said, no, but they were like, we can't run. compete with them. That's why they were like, hey, four we years in a row. And we couldn't. <sighs> what's, your, uh, what's your very early um, look at this one, Doctor? I'm going to have to go with Golden State. They have the experience. Uh, they have better players. They still got the three superstars. Uh, you know, a lot of their guys didn't really play excellent, excellent superstar basketball last series, but this series is over. Now you can go home. You can be happy. Now you can rechange your focus. Uh, new opportunities. Uh, seven new games to, you know, be a champion. So, you know, guys probably, probably will be playing with a lot more confidence. Golden State will start at home, so... No, they're going to be looking to, you know, put Cleveland away. No, they, they're going to be looking to take advantage of Cleveland's new cast. Um, we've seen this again time and time and time again. We, But we also see LeBron continue to do things that uh, defy description. Can LeBron lead this Cleveland team to an NBA title against the team that currently holds the trophy. I mean, it's it's probably going to be his most difficult assignment um, in in any in any finals. Even when he was younger, uh, with it being inexperienced, but he is the ultimate mismatch. Meaning, he doesn't just take threes. He he gets to the rim, he rebounds and pushes the ball in transition. So, he's the only guy who does all three of those things on the offensive end and creates the ultimate mismatch. So, he does get guys shots. He does look for his teammates, and he does get it early in the shot clock. Be that as it may, Golden State's a better team. Well, I think this is his best chance of beating this team because I think the Warriors bench is not as good as it used to be. Iguodala remains it, out. Yeah, but I'm talking about guys after that. They don't have the guys that they had three or four years no, ago. I was just, I was just adding yeah, to yeah, yeah. that, saying that the, 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 but the that Hamptons five lineup. Yeah, this, this is the Hampton Inn five. Will likely uh, not start. Inn. Hey, that's my line. I, I, I can't repeat your line? You can't. At least you can if you attribute it to me. Wait, like, he, hey, like he, Ernie, wait, like he you can't said. Wear, like Kenny you can't said. wear your bow tie. I can't uh, say something uh, you say. Uh, no, it's just, it's usually just like polite. No credit, yeah. Polite to credit somebody if they have a good line. Well, in school, what did he do in school all the time? Is that thing. Right. Cheap plagiarize. Plagiarism. Oh, there you go. Oh, plagiarism. You didn't know plagiarism. Plagiarism, did you? Spell it, tough guy. Spell it, tough guy. Uh, uh, you know, listen, go ahead. But I don't think their bench is good as it's been in the last few years. I think the Cavs bench is underrated. Uh, I think when he starts playing Larry Nass, Clarkson, Jeff Green, and those guys more, giving them confidence, uh, I'm going to be pulling for the Cavs. I don't care who wins, but I'm going to be rooting for the Cavs. Okay. Fourth time around. Then starting care. Starting Thursday. I ain't so in Oakland, bet on them. Golden State. <laughs> That's stupid. And Cleveland. <laughs>